Edison to take his electric light to the gas company. There is nobody to, in to investigate Edison. He came up with the electric light. When Sir Degada Bose went to the scientific convention in England and explained his work, they laughed at him. Yes. So he left and went back to India. Years later, they went to his lab and said, you're right, and they knighted him. You can't take a new concept and meet with old people and ask them about their castles. They love their castles. People love this romantic architecture. There's nobody I can take the Venus Project in this town. I would level this city and keep some portions of it as museum cities. I fully agree. When all my airplanes are different than the airplanes How that exist. How he put it to test was his, because he worked on this technically. He worked on aircraft. He, he doesn't just, it's just not some artistic notion. He can back it up technically how it works. And they're just not artist drawings. But when he builds, a, when he designs a house, he, he designs a factory that's going to design the house. And then when he has theories about behavior, he started with, with insect, insects in terms of how they behave, went through animals, then he put it to test. He went to the clan and changed them. I'm sure you know that story. That's how he yes. you know, put it to test, and the, the clan broke up. Yes. So he, he experimented and put it to test. It's just not some notion, go out there and be ethical and nice and kind. He, 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 he devised ways of getting to people and changing them. He did the same thing to alcoholics and drug addicts. He changed them, worked the worst kids in New York City, and changed them. When he went to the sociologist who worked with those kids, he had no idea, and he showed them how it was done. So he tried to approach the American Sociology Psychology Department. It's, it's like when you went and asked to, to tell them, to explain the approach you had, the American Sociology Department or Psychology Department? American Department. Psychological Association okay. has said, I would like to address you on new ways of treating drug addicts and rigid people. And they said, what school did you go to? I said, no school. We're not interested. Is that clear? Yes. The Wright brothers <coughs> never got a hearing. Neither did Louis Pasteur. He was not a doctor. He was a chemist. Right. All new ideas come from the outside. And what you have to do is get to the inside. So the inside likes their position of authority. And they don't even know what questions to ask. So they think they're being objective and fair. But they can't because they haven't studied this system. So we suggest that people become familiar with the Venus Project and then say, uh, here's where well, this won't work. People that live here can't get into this building. There's no entrance. You give me stuff like that, I'll work with you. But if you say, what do architects think of your city? What do I think of architects? That's more important. They don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. 90%. They can't judge it. They don't think within a, a total city systems approach on a global scale because they're trying to find the causes of the problems in society. They are just into one little discipline, building a building. Yes. And, and when they have a, 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 the problem of building whole city, they just take little buildings and put them together. And they copy old cities, what they think worked in old cities. They don't think of it in terms of a whole total systems approach for creating abundance within a new social design. They can't. Let me put it another way. You might understand it better. Um, when you, if I always in my book, I say, if you found a planet like the Earth out there, and we can go there, and you have a freedom to design that planet any way you want to, I try to encourage people to design a new social planet, a brand new planet, see if you can cut out war, crime, opinions, and how would you go about it? To give people the opportunity to take a brand new planet and lay it out. Well, the kids are always draw it like it is today. Their frame of reference is the same. It's like asking an Indian, what do you think of, it, of a Learjet? <coughs> they say, what the hell is a Learjet? What do you think of a cyclotron? They don't know what that is. Architects don't think of new arrangements. They work within the a company comes over and says, we'd like you to do a factory in this area. 
that's where I landed. Well, the architect works on that. He's not an innovator, really. He's not called upon to design a school that's more efficient, more effective. The Board of Education decides that. They have a set of rules. The architect says, how many students? And say 4,308. Then he goes and he writes that down and he makes a building to correspond with what he gets orders for. Right. But I say, uh, let me just tell you what really happens. There was a time when Poland believed in the cavalry, horseback. Yes. But the Germans believed in war tanks. And so there was a large group of Germans that won out and they slaughtered the Poles because they couldn't conceive of a war tank. Now the war tank people got in in America. And the laser people said, we can design a laser beam that'll burn the war tanks. And they fought against laser people. And the laser people finally got in, and the space people said, we can use laser beam in space and burn the soldiers all over the place. And the laser group on the ground fought that. Every group is always there defending their own group. Right. You don't have any objectivity. Now, you think scientists are more objective than other people? Here's proof that they're not. When Germany got into power, when it became a powerful nation, some scientists left Germany, but most of them stayed there and made weapons. There were scientists in Italy, they stayed there and made weapons. Scientists in America, scientists in England. If they were scientists, they say, what's going on here? Why is there a war? Why can't we bridge the difference? Why do they fall in line with their country? Because they're brought up to be patriotic, they're brought up to be proud of working for Douglas Aircraft, not uh, Hausen Aircraft Company in Germany. They don't give a damn about that. They're just like ordinary people. Scientists get married, have parties, get drunk, just like anybody else. You think a scientist is objective? The nearest no. thing I met a scientist was Albert Einstein. I said, do you believe in God? He said, which one? <laughs> and I said, what, what do you think of the social system? He said, uh, I'm a socialist. I said, how does it work? He says, I've never really gone into it in detail. I don't know. So I talk to a lot of scientists. I've never met a scientist. A scientist to me is a guy that asks pertinent questions. What is cancer? Well, doctors don't know, so they give you chemotherapy. You know what that is? Chemicals. Yes. Well, they use x-rays to try to burn the cancer. I'm going to try to tell you what I would do. I would take cancer, keep it alive in a Petri dish. If a person died, I keep many different types of cancers alive with artificial circulation. Then I treat the cancer, not the patient. And once I control the cancer, I speed up cell multiplication, slow it down. They don't even know how to do research today. To do research correctly, you have to ask, what is the problem? Problem of life. It's a problem of what is life? They don't know. The definitions of life do not fit. Spencer said, one manifestation of life is that the body automatically sweats when it gets hot and, and keeps the body at an even temperature. If it gets cold, it burns more fat. So they thought Spencer had a good <coughs> definition of life. So an engineer said, hey, my refrigerator does that. When it gets hot, it gets colder. When it gets cold, it gets warmer. So Spencer said, gee, that's a lousy definition. They don't even know how to think about it. When kids go to school, they say, what are you going to major in? Well, I think I'll major in biology. That's not the kind of people we want. We want people, when they were kids, they collected insects and studied them. Not kids that, what do you want to major I think I'll major in psychology. That's the bullshit world that I'm talking about. There are very few real scientists. Yes. I'm sorry about that. I, I wish it were otherwise. Listen, I fully agree with all your concepts, your ideas, and your wishes for the future.